Hey, what's up, guys? Totally dubbed here, and today I'm gonna make a ROM overview of um, ICS Beta One uh, by One Sonic, uh, One, One Cosmic. <laughs> um, so as you can see, I'm just installing uh, Super User, um, and I did a boot animation over here. So I'm just showing you the boot animation, how it looks like. This is the one that you can download um, from the front page on XDA. Uh, it's the updated one. The normal one is just the like the X logo, the X Nexus logo doing that basically. <laughs> so um, I'm just I wanted to show you the boot animation in reality and uh, the super user thing. So right out of the box, um, well, after you flashed in everything, that's the two. Well, the one biggest thing for me was super user. Uh, you have to make sure that you got super user there. Um, in my video guide and slash my written guide, I show you to do a 3G fix. Um, that was applicable for Alpha 7 or Alpha 8 or whatever, but since then it's been updated and 3G works flawlessly. So here you go, I'm going to show you uh, just quickly go and update Super User. As you can see, now it has it there. When you first launch the app, you won't have that there. So just to show you, just going to go that and update. It's usually updated but you go update anyway and you should do that so when you've done that you're successfully updated now one thing I did know about ICS uh, apart from the looks and everything is the fact that super user permissions are usually the other way around um, over here you can see allow deny that's normal uh, but sometimes you'll get the allow on the on the right and deny on the left when you usually it's the other way around so um, at the moment, I'm just going to uh, well, show you the ROM. Um, I personally don't like the boot. Uh, the, sorry, the the background right now. Um, simply, it seems a little bit laggy. Um, I prefer my Starfield. Um, <laughs> many of you know that I use Starfield all the time, and I much prefer Zeem launcher instead of this uh, this launcher. It is a very nice launcher. Don't get me wrong. Um, as you can see, look at that. It's quite nice. And obviously when you scroll over here, you've got all these widgets and stuff. So it is very cool. Um, a cool thing I found about this ROM, well, I'll get to it, it's, it's the camera as well. So right, so let's just quickly go through some things. So um, it's actually a very fast ROM. It doesn't seem like it, it's because of the, uh, the live wallpaper. Uh, here you've got wireless and networks. If you click on them, you will see them. One thing I really do suggest is you go over here to advanced and untick avoid poor connections. I'm literally, I mean, a meter away from my router and when I tried to connect to We Have Cookies, that is my router ID, uh, <laughs> it said that we ha you have poor connections so the connection was not established and I was like, uh, what? <laughs> but yeah, so Wi-Fi. Uh, works. So I'm going to turn off Wi-Fi and I'll show you that 3G works. I haven't done any 3G fix. You don't get a separate 3G notification, you get the 3G on top like that. If you're on um, Edge or whatever, it'll show differently, it'll be on you know E or whatever it shows. Bluetooth, data usage is actually pretty cool. It's good for people like me, uh, which aren't on a big data plan, so it's quite useful to do that. You go set mobile limit, yep, and then you can bring this down so Mine is very tiny. The French are quite stingy over here. Um, and let's put that up to 360. And my warning at say 300. So that's quite nice to do. And it's quite useful. And it monitors like what's been using your data. So that's that's pretty cool. I really like that feature. And more you got VPN, airplane, tethering your mobile. Hotspots. Uh, portable Wi-Fi hotspot. Um, as we have on gingerbread. Mobile networks will show you your mobile networks and your options. Uh, very simple. Uh, you can set your APNs right there. That's my APN, Buig, um, Telecom, network operator, operators. You can obviously select. It usually takes a little bit of time. So yeah. Um, next, we've done that. You got your sound, display, storage, battery, and apps. So first, the sound. This is pretty much exactly the same thing. One thing you will note is that your phone ringtone and your default ringtone are going to be completely different. Some load of load of songs, as you can see over here. There's actually some quite nice ones, and there's some which have been like um, remastered in HD. <laughs> so um, 
for, for example, tada. Um, I remember that was in gingerbread, but seems to have changed. We've got screen lock sounds, touch band sounds, we're going to get rid of those and vibrate on touch. I don't usually use them. So there you go. Display, um, auto rotate screen, I get that off. Sleep, you get the choice, I've got two minutes. Font size, you can change the font. Pulse notification light, so it's almost like BLN. Um, brightness, I'm going to turn that up a little bit. Well, actually, for the video, it's better to be down so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, obviously, wallpaper you can change. Uh, say live wallpaper, and I can change my wallpaper um, if needs be. And I'm going to just change it to we'll change it to water. That's a quite nice live wallpaper. Um, and then you can check your battery, um, just like on Gingerbread. You, know, you can see you can see that very easy to see what your what's sucking up your battery. Um, as you can see, my Android OS is 21%, but I just flashed, so uh, that's, prob that's probably a higher reading than it should be, but even if it is or isn't, it doesn't really matter. We're on a beta um, over here. Um, and then we've got apps. Now, this is your apps that you've downloaded on your SD card, running. So, running apps right now, as you can see, uh, 154 megabyte free, 186 used. There's nothing installed. Now, one thing I didn't realize is that it's so stupid, but I didn't realize. For example, if you set a app as default, you'd realize, oh yeah, where is it? How can I get to it? You can scroll to the right. Well, usually you can. There you go. Over here. And if you scroll to the right, you got all, and there you go. You can go back to your browser and get rid of its defaults or whatever. Uh, for example, the launcher, and I can remove its clear defaults. For example, if I have a Zim launcher there installed. So there you go. Bear that in mind because that got me. I was like, "Where the hell is it?" And I realized, "Oh shit, yeah." <laughs> so yeah, uh, accounts and sync, location services, um, your standard stuff, uh, security. Again, standard stuff. We're gonna tick that. I would definitely suggest ticking that one on. Um, language and input. Now it only comes with uh, the Android keyboard. Um, which is fine, but I use Swipe. Now if you want Swipe on this, you need to get this Swipe installer uh, and you have to have a Swipe account. Very easy, uh, very quick to do and um, if you get it then you, know, you can get Swipe on any device or wherever. So I truly suggest getting that if you are a fan of uh, Swipe like I am. Um, I'll show you the key keyboard in a second. Right, date and time. Accessibilities, now accessibility is a little bit different. A large text, power button, end call, auto rotate screen, touch and hold delay, short, install web scripts, I go allow. Um, so, yeah, here you can choose. There's a bit more options than you usually got. Developer options, these are things for people which know what they're doing. Don't touch this, just have USB debugging touch, um, uh, touched. <laughs> so dirty. Um, ticked. Um, and allow mocker locations, have those two ticked. They should be ticked by default, so don't worry about that. And obviously your about phone, you can see that we're on 4.0.1, JVK baseband, Fuju mod 3.0.8, and GWK74 build number. So there you go, that's your settings and everything. So um, now I'm going to show you the browser. Uh, there it is. So apparently it's got uh, hardware acceleration and everything. So yeah, so it's just signing into my account. And there you go. I am on 3G right now. I'm not on. Um, I'm not on uh, Wi-Fi at all. As you, if you remember right, I disabled it. So over here, uh, you can see the Android keyboard, which is quite nice. Uh, there's vibration. Obviously, you can turn that down, but. Um, I'm not very good, as you can see. Um, uh, let's search for. Oh no, spelt it wrong. There you go. Um, do that. <laughs> so there you go. Um, Wi-Fi obviously works brilliantly. Um, I don't recommend you going on that site. But uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> it's a random search. So right, and then. What else is there to show? Yeah, okay. Uh, let's go through. Let's just go through the apps. Uh, calculator, which looks pretty standard. Let's see if it works like this. I've got um, thingy off. Let's see. Advanced panel. There you go. And we've got the sign cos. You know, if you're a mathematician, you're gonna love that shit. Um, basically, calendar looks a little bit different. 
Um, but it's very nice, very sleek in my opinion. It looks very sexy. Uh, and you can change this to like a monthly view as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, what else have we got? We've got the clock. The clock looks a little bit different, which is quite cool. Now watch this. I tap on it and it dims. So you can have that. And then you can have it like that. That's, that's very cool. Very nice feature. I like that. Um, so there you go. And you can set your alarms. If you click on the icon, if you just saw there, click there. And it comes up with this. Um, there you go. And you can add alarms and choose your alarms. Normal normal stuff as you if you remember from any or any version it just looks fancier and nicer that's quite cool a uh, camera is something that I've been very impressed about front camera doesn't work properly you'll see what I mean in a second um, but yeah as you can see the the camera over here is working flawlessly uh, let me bring the camera up there you go screen in a screen so um, if I hit now if you if you look over here I go on video you can go on panorama which works actually quite nice um, it just takes a panorama sweep and what I actually liked where was it is that these icons the way they moved was quite nice as in it felt like they were like moving around ah oh, there we go I remember now so if I do this check the icons over here It's very nice and very, very rapid, so there you go. I can, I think I can focus. Usually you can, but uh, let's see. Let's get rid of that. So yeah, it's not focusing right now. So you can't, you can't tap to focus, or at least not right now. But yeah, there you go. Uh, video recording. Again, you don't have the tap, but there's, well, obviously you couldn't see because I was an idiot, but yeah, you can't tap. So let's go back down. Right, um, so the camera was quite nice. Now the front camera, you'll see what I mean. Uh, it's completely blurred, like completely like fuzzy. And you can see me there. <laughs> Hello. Um, it's making me look fatter. Now for the women out there, they'll be really disappointed. <laughs> but um, it's bigger than it should be. Especially when I hold it like this, it's like I'm really thin. So ladies, hold it like this. Thin guys like me hold it like that so whichever you want <laughs> so yeah there's your camera um, email app is actually quite snazzy and quite nice I can't show you now I just need to sign in but anyway uh, email app is quite snazzy I really like that um, and what else have we got gallery shouldn't be anything in there anyway but uh, some F1 wallpapers as you can see very nice looks very cool as you can see it's doing that yeah there you go right um, the market is actually very speedy, it's based on the new one um, and it's very very fast, or at least in my opinion um, faster than your usual market uh, it looks very nice as well, so there you go uh, what else do we have? Uh, music, music which I use a lot obviously um, is quite nice as well uh, unfortunately I do not have any music here but um, yeah it is empty but yeah it is very nice I really like the, what they've done but the problem is what I found is it's hard to set as ringtone or set as alarm if you want to do that you want to go in my files and um, add it to where you'll see a folder now I wish I could show you this right now but um, the problem is I don't actually have um, uh, an app for that where Steve Jobs when you need him um, basically you see what I mean um, for example, if I go and get uh, Super Manager, uh, you will see exactly what I'm trying to say. So let's restore, miss, restore, uh, deselect all. Let's go for Zeme and Super Manager. Well, actually, just Super Manager uh, app only. Run the batch operation. So this is Titanium Backup. Now one thing you have to know is that I had a problem with my external SD card. My external SD card came out and after that when I put it back in it wiped everything as in it was coming with uh, formatting errors and whatever meaning I had to format the external SD card. 
and when I went to format the external SD card, it was like a drop down notification like that. I clicked on it and it wiped my internal SD card, meaning it wiped my titanium backup as well. So bear that in mind, guys, if you're ever going to do that. So yeah. Um, so yeah, in. So what I was talking about was file manager. You need to enable root. Allow. Right, so it over here you can see you've got alarms, for example, and you've got uh, download uh, music or notifications and whatnot. Over here is where you'd paste your music. So, for example, I've got 50 Cent and I want to put it as my ringtone. I go down to ringtones, I paste it in here, and once I've pasted it in here, um, remember to have mount as RW. Reboot your phone. After you reboot your phone, it'll appear. Um, it'll appear where it should be. So, for example, if it was a ringtone, it would appear in my phone ringtones. So I didn't realize that. A simple reboot sorted that out. So make sure you have that in mind. Um, phone is also very nice. I actually really like the look of it. It's really cool. So that's that. And. What else is there? I can't think of anything else. The other things I don't really use that much, so I can't really show you. But um, it's very nice, a very nice ROM. Um, and one other thing I forgot is the widgets are actually quite nice. For example, let's put analog clock there. And let me put my favorite, my definite favorite was um, music. There you go. This one is absolutely brilliant. It's a um, music widget, and usually if you have music, you can just touch and play, and you can go next, and you can pause. It's a brilliant widget, and I love that, um, and I always, I'm always going to have that now instead of my clock cue a widget I had before. So um, there you go, guys. I don't know if there's anything I've missed. There's probably loads that I've missed, but, um, you know, hey, there you go. <laughs> I hope this will help you. And um, if you've got any more questions, please post them in the comments below. And there you go. So let's just do one more thing. Let's do a Google, Google Voice. Agree. Uh, speak now. Da, da, da. Okay. Directions to Leicester Square. There you go. Bob's your uncle. It actually works. Now that's going to route me from France all the way to Leicester Square. It's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass, ain't it? So, um, that works. Happy days. As you can see, I never open maps. And let's see if it's going <laughs> to... My location. Walking, lo walking directions to Leicester Square from Paris. That would be pretty good. Let's do that. Get directions. GPS isn't bad either, by the way. Um, I found it's pretty good. But uh, this should be really interesting. How is it going to root it? Uh, how is it going to root me? Okay, maybe I'm unavailable right now. Well, um, if you can catch me on a when I'm not busy, maybe I'll be available. How about that? Yeah, screw you, Google. But yeah, there you go, guys. Everything worked. Finally, just to overkill, let me just try something. Totally dubbed. <laughs> there I am, totally dubbed. Let's search that. What does it come up with? I'm using 3G, remember? Hey, there you go, totally dubbed.net and everything. That's brilliant, it actually works. Um, and there you go, pinch to zoom. Brilliant right there. Let's click on that. My website's going to display shitly, I think. Unless it's going to open the mobile site, which would be epic. Yes, it opened the mobile site. So there you go. Brilliant. Absolutely works flawlessly. And you can see 3G is pretty fast and pretty good. Uh, flash should be should be enabled. Let's see. But yeah. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Take care. Bye bye.